Y'all got major chest up in your face. I'm sorry. I can't really help it right now. I'm trying to work it out, but it's not it's not gonna move nowhere. And the way I have the camera position is just it's what I had to do. I'm sorry, y'all. But I just came on here to tell y'all this story. Okay, so this story is probably going to be called When I Found Out I Was a Side Chick. Now pause. I wasn't the side chick voluntarily, y'all. Never that. No, no, no. We don't do that here. Um, what happened was I had been talking to this guy for a while. And we were close. Like, I would consider us friends. Well, at the time we were friends. I thought he was my friend. But I always had stronger feelings for him than he had for me. And it was always kind of this annoying thing. Because I'd be like, dude, like... It was my first and all that, so it was a big mess. And I was like, dude, like, if you don't have feelings for me like that, then we just need to be friends and kick it. Don't call me boo or nothing like that, but you know how boys be. And I was 17, and he was 19, so. But anyway. um, Pause. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so... Like I said, I was 17, he was 19, and he had more experience than I was, so it was a big mess, and it was a disaster waiting to happen, but, I mean, I had this strong connection with him, even before I lost it to him. It was like, there wasn't really no help in it, and like, what annoyed me about the whole situation is that when I first met him, <laughs> I swear on everything, y'all, when I first met him, I was like... Just please leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. Because I knew immediately that I was going to fall for him. And I knew that he was going to hurt me. But he just kept pushing and pushing. And I gave him a chance. And we were talking off and on for like a year. Um, we got into a couple of big fights that made us stop talking. And then he'd be like, you know, like I can't stop talking to you. And I'd be like, well, I can't stop talking to you either, fool. You just get on my nerves. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I found out, um, we started talking the summer after my junior year, and I found out during my senior year that he, what was it the summer after, I don't know, basically after a year, so probably like the summer after my senior year, that, um, let me, let me pause there and not just outright say it, um, Basically, I got on the Uru, and he, him and I were, he had, him and I had been talking on Uru, and then there was a whole chat with a whole bunch of girls on it, and I was asking him, like, why am I in a chat with a whole bunch of other girls on your Uru? And he was like, oh, that was my cousin playing around or whatever, and I was like, oh, okay. And then one girl says, baby. Why are these girls in this chat? And I was like, baby, <laughs> who's baby? So I asked him about it. He was like, nothing. Like, he was so nonchalant about it. It made me so annoyed because I'm like, boy, you be calling me boo and all types of stuff all the freaking time. Are you kidding me? But <laughs> anyway, so her and I start communicating and I start putting two to two together. And she's like, oh, I'm his girlfriend. I'm like, his girlfriend? Um, so I just hooked up with him two weeks ago when y'all were together. Because they had been together for three months. I was like, really now? Really now? This is news to me. I didn't know nothing. And then he gonna get mad at me talking about why am I talking to her? I'm like, nigga. I had that look like I was waiting for you with the dough. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a mess, and we didn't talk for a long time after that, probably like four or five months after that, and like later on he apologized, and I was like, whatever, and you know, he tried to like get me to cheat on Uriel, so I haven't talked to him, I don't really have any interest in talking to him, it is what it is, I'm just like, that's a part of my life, but it's not, he's not in my life anymore, and I've accepted that. I wish we could have been just friends and left it at that without all that drama and stuff because it would have been so much better. So much better, y'all. Like, I don't even understand why it had to be like that, but he had to have the goodies, so 
They messed everything up. But anyway, that's all for this story. Holla at me if y'all want more. And I will see you guys later. Bye.